well, here we are. We're going on a short trip to Edinburgh today from from Lanarkshire, would you believe? It's not all that far, it's maybe 40 odd miles and it's uh, sort of roughly one hour's duration. You're just going to get a flavour of it, the beginning, the middle of the, and the end. See? I'll try and keep my words to the minimum and let the, let the movie speak for itself. You'll probably notice that when we get to Hart Hill type of thing, there's not a lot happening. And that's because there's not a lot happening in Hart Hill. Or anywhere in between Glasgow and Edinburgh. So there we go. Well, that's a friend, I have to say. Who's that? If you're going to get killed with a car in this town, you're going to get killed by a Range Rover. Or something like it. Well, this is a great plain opening out into Lanarkshire, North Lanarkshire, I think. And this is even more of it. Not a lot happening. Oh, I'm always filled with anticipation when we go to Edinburgh. And uh, to be honest, I'm usually a wee bit disappointed, but it's better than nothing. Do you know what I mean? Certainly, uh, the journey is nothing to uh, write home about. As you can see, it's uh, brushwood, tumbleweed, and more brushwood. <laughs> this is a bus stop. Hill. Edinburgh's just coming up in a very short period of time. Now look at that. Aren't these buildings spectacular? It makes it worthwhile actually when you come to Edinburgh and see the high quality of the architecture as you drive through. It really is quite special. I'm not just saying that. Well, I'm just saying it, but I'm only saying it uh, because it's true, which is always a good basis for for saying anything you've probably noticed. Yeah, that's one of my maxims that I live by. If you're going to say anything, try and make sure it's true. Well, most of it anyway. Looking out the window, we're approaching Princess Street, by the way. Should have said that. Passing that wee church at the beginning whose name escapes me. Uh, it's probably historic. Undoubtedly historic. And uh, up in the hill, yeah that hill there, you see you see uh, Edinburgh Castle. It was a bit late with that, wasn't it? There's uh, the Scott Monument. We're on Princess Street. You can see it's a bustling cosmopolitan city and there's all sorts of people coming and going. Some of them are looking at me sideways uh, wondering whether I've got BBC on my hat or something and that they might be appearing that night on the TV news but I'm sorry to disappoint. That's not the way it is. I was just actually trying to be able to take some kind of a movie. Oh, here we go. Somebody's happy. This is actually, they're going to be building a tram system right along this very, very busy road, and that's what all the ball ups are about. There's no end to the innovation in Scotland these days. I only hope that it's being paid for by uh, someone else other than my good self as a taxpayer. But there you go. Nice, isn't it? You can see it's getting a wee bit darker now. <laughs> It's not even five o'clock yet. My goodness. I don't think it's four o'clock. 